How's it going, 8 Imaging fans? Welcome back for another 2 Minute Tuesday. In today's 2 Minute Tuesday, we're going to take a look at one of the newest features added to our HDNDI 200 and our PTZ lineups, which is going to be SRT, Secure Reliable Transport. Secure Reliable Transport is basically a video protocol uh, developed by High Vision that sends uncompromised video over unstable networks securely and smoothly. So in a nutshell, basically SRT is com comparable to RTSP and NDI. Um, in terms of reliability, it is better, but in terms of latency, you do sacrifice a little bit of it as it falls a second or two behind. But like I said, you're gonna get that extreme reliability and secureness where there's gonna be no frame drops and you can actually protect your streams. So we're gonna take a look at how to set up a quick stream with this using vMix and our HDNDI 200 right in front of me. And let's go dive in. Alrighty, to start things off, we're gonna go ahead and get our desktop capture going. We're gonna notice we got my vMix on the right. We're gonna have my web UI on the left. So let's go ahead and log in, get my video preview, and then head to settings. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the video transmission. And at the very bottom, we're gonna notice our new one, which is gonna be SRT setting. So first thing you're gonna notice is mode. There's gonna be a listen and a caller. So make sure that we're gonna leave it on listen for this one, but you can change it to caller. Uh, basically, if you have your camera on listen or caller, you have to make sure that the software or whatever you're trying to take the stream in is the opposite to that. So listen is one side, caller is the other. So in this case, we're gonna make vMix a caller later on. So next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna click enable. You gotta make sure that the SRT stream is running. For port, uh, it's default 1600. We're gonna go ahead and change that to 2000. You can change that to whatever you'd like. Encryption puts the, the S in secure for SRT, right? So you can go ahead and add a password to this stream if you want. Uh, since this is on a local network, I don't really need to add a password to it. Um, if you are doing this over WAN though, I would suggest doing that just for no you know, stream compromisability or anything like that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So we're gonna notice that our main stream at the bottom right here is gonna be uh, what we would type into like, let's say OVS for example. But since we're using vMix, I'll show you how to do that. So all you gotta do is just click save. Success, we did it. Hooray. And we're gonna head to our vMix and add in input. So we're gonna head to stream SRT right here. And we're gonna look for SRT caller. So I do have listener here, so make sure it's the opposite, right? So this is caller. So first thing we're gonna do, host name. The host name for this is going to be um, the basically the IP address of the camera. So I got 168.254.188. The port number is gonna be what you change it to. So I changed it to 2000. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's 2000. Latency decoder delay, this is up to you if you wanna make it a little longer or if you wanna add a little delay to decoding the video, up to you. For passphrase, this is where you enter your password if you added it as well as the key link. But since we didn't have anything, we can leave it blank. And then lastly, for stream ID, you're gonna notice right here at the bottom, it's gonna say stream ID equals R equals zero. So stream ID in this case is gonna be R equals zero. We're gonna go ahead and copy that r equals zero and that should be it so once you push ok we're going to notice the stream is popping up here and i'm going to have my srt stream running so it's as easy as that you're going to notice the latency right so i'm talking to you right now you're hearing my voice but you're going to notice that there's a little bit of a lag right it's like a second or two and done I know this video went over two minutes, but I wanted to make sure that I adequately explain myself. That way it's easy for you to follow along and set up your own SRT stream. So with that said, I'm gonna be coming out with another SRT video, which will be a little bit more in depth. Maybe have this guy as a caller and have the software as listener, or even have um, different softwares like OBS and VLC in there. So if you have any software recommendations for SRT that you want me to connect to, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to add that to the video, which will either come out next week or the next next week. But with that said, if you did enjoy this content, it would be very much appreciated if you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. You know, here at Ada Imaging, we try to make sure that all our customers are happy and make sure that every firmware that, uh, update that we do is helpful to you and also helps in your production and adds value to our products. So with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.